Hi everyone. Okay, so we are going to start our first needle felting project and what we are going to be doing is using our normal felt piece uh, for our flat surface. Okay, and we're going to be layering different colors and different felts on top of our felt piece to create a scene. This is a scene I did of some, like a desert scene with some of the purple clouds and the cactus in the background and things like that with a pretty sunset. So I'm going to be doing a second one with you guys or starting one with you and I have chosen this picture of these. It's a pretty blue sky with some sunflowers. Now the, the thing with your scene and how you're going to choose your pictures, I do recommend finding one either like a, you know a real photo or a photo with lots of different colors um, that it's not super realistic and it makes it a little bit funner and easier to figure out what kind of colors uh, that you can use all right uh, a few things about this so with your felting scene it does not have to reach the very edges of your uh, felt that can be simply trimmed off it gets really hard and almost difficult to get it exactly to the edges but you do need within your scene to cover all the white of the felt that's underneath, okay? Um, as you are pressing your needle into your felt to connect your loose material to your solid material, the needles were going to go through the entire fabric. And if you flip it over, you can actually see kind of blurry but the little tiny holes where the needle has poked through to bring that wool through to connect it it's kind of creating like a velcro effect where it's not going to come apart so if I were to try to pick it off it's going to be really difficult for me to pick it off because it's attached in one material okay so what I'm going to be doing is I'm first going to not use your um, your stuffing right here. This is for our next project for our miniatures. I'm going to put that back in my bag. I got all the colors out that's in my pocket in my uh, bag right here. And then I'm going to start off with some blues. So I'm going to pick out all my blues that I need. Now, if you do not have a color in your bag that you need, either one, let me know and see if I have that color, or two, pick a different picture. Okay? I'm sorry that if you are virtual that you don't have the, the wide option of doing that, okay? You can actually use your stuffing as a white color. It will work uh, the same as your wool, okay? So I got some blues all throughout and some white on top, okay? So I'm going to take a little piece and then I'm going to spread it out. Pick that out right here. Spread it out as best I can. And I'm going to layer these different colors. Some peek in there. All throughout. It's very iridescent and you can kind of see through them. You want the different layered effect because it looks kind of cool. So I got different shades of blue because, you know, the sky is not straight up the same shade of blue. Again, if you find out that you don't have enough of one color, you can always make the picture a little bit smaller and leave more of the white edges around your picture to make sure that you do have enough color for uh, the coverage. I think I'm going to have enough and you can see it's like really fluffy right now but I'm going to try to get as much down as I would like for the layering before I begin. Okay so this will take time. Um, sometimes you can do this while you're watching TV or something like that. I am going to poke it enough to where it is getting attached to my felt so that it's not going to fly off anywhere. And then once I'm happy with where everything is laid out, then I can kind of move it. Now, 
I'm going to move my blues a little bit more in so I can take my needle and kind of push it in a little bit so my edges are clean. Because I don't have a whole, whole lot of blue in my pack, so I'm going to make my colors a little bit closer together. Alright, so I've stabbed it a few times. It's not fully felted, but I'm going to separate my felt from my board because all those little holes have gone into my foam and I want I don't want my felt to be connected to my foam board, okay? You can start seeing all the little holes that are going through to create that one solid piece. Alright, so I'm going to layer on a little bit more blue where I want it. I want a little bit darker over here, so I'm going to layer different colors on top. You can see it doesn't look exactly like my photo, and that's okay. I mean, it's just a reference photo. So it's okay that it's not exactly how it is, just as a reference to make it look nice and pretty. So I'm going to put some blue, I mean some white, for some clouds in there, have some layering. And then I'm going to go in and connect those. Whoops. Your felt will always get smaller when you are felting it because it's condensing all the fibers together. I'm moving the felt where I want it with my needle. I'm going to add a little bit more white. Oops. There. I'm going to add a little bit more here just for different colors. Now, as you are doing this and thinking about what kind of pictures you're wanting to do, it is important. Ooh, I did something really bad. Okay, I'm glad I, I did this. I moved my needle before I lifted it out. And look at that bend. I don't know if you can see it. So, this is when your needle gets really, really fragile. Okay, try to straighten that out. Because if you go in turn and then lift up it's going to bend it and it's going to be it's going to be it's going to break okay um always try to go straight up and down so you don't bend that needle okay i bent it because i was getting sloppy and i wasn't paying attention okay so try to go just straight up and down when you are felting now you're probably thinking this is going to take forever for me to do yes it does take some time uh, but it is so satisfying and it's actually kind of fun just doing a repetitive motion over and over again. Now there is a tool. I do not have them for my students, but if you are interested in needle felting even more after this, there is the second tool. It is a holder for multiple needles right here. And I think I have like five or six in there. And you can get these off of Amazon or even at Hobby Lobby. It's cheaper and off of Amazon. If you go straight up and down, you can felt like five times faster. Same rules apply. You gotta go straight up and down. The bad thing about these is that this doesn't really work for 3D objects, but it will work really well uh, for your flat object. I'm going to do some green in the background first, and then um, I'm going to do the sunflowers on top because that will be a lot easier 
to do the background then the sunflowers because I don't want to work and try to get around all those petals and things like that so I got some different greens for my grass spread that out okay I'm gonna finish up this grass in this green area and then I'll come back for the sunflowers all right so I did my ground I did all the different shades of green I had in my pack and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my first sunflower it's gonna be the biggest one I'm going to take some of my brown for the middle kind of wad it up into a ball and then I'm going to snap it down into place not fully because I want to add some more colors to it. I'm moving my felt so it will stay a circle. Sunflowers usually have a little darker spot in the middle so I'm going to add just a touch of black, pull it into a ball. get started on my colors I'm gonna add more to the center and everything like that but for my sunflower I'm going to create little ovals something like that squish them together Pin it down and then for the center I'm going to squish them with my needle on the tips because flower petals are thinner on the tips right there okay and I'm just going to do that all the way around some of them are going to be bigger some of them are going to be smaller because not all petals are exactly the same Okay, I'm going to add a few more petals and then I'm going to finish it and come back to you guys. Alright, so I finished putting the petals on my flowers. I was trying to put a two-toned in my gold in my petals here because I didn't really like the overall just a flat yellow. So things will always look better if you have two tones or extra tones within the, the objects. It just makes it uh, a little bit more high quality and an overall better aesthetic. Okay, so I will be working on this a little bit more, making my lines a little bit smoother and cleaner. Like in my petals, my background can be soft and light and airy. Uh, and that's okay. You can have different things going on. I'll probably put a little bit orange or gold into my sunflower. I'll probably put, just like my picture right here, one or two in the back because it's a little bland and things like that. Um, make sure that you take this off every once in a while so it doesn't get fully stuck to the foam. And then you can always leave that white border around it since, you know, you don't have all the abundance of wool and everything but this is a super relaxing type of art um, make sure that you layer your colors and you use lots of colors and make sure you felt it enough that when you try to pick at it it doesn't come off very easily okay when you are done make sure you take a photo of this and put it onto your art slides and you write your reflection